Surat al Umrah. Are you saying Allah is lying? The book of the Christianity in the Quran is the book of Allah. You see, those Muslims do not know what is written in their book. Do you want me to show you, sir? You're mine. It's okay, don't worry about it. You don't know. All Muslims don't know. Have you ever seen a Muslim he knew? Your prophet himself you do not know. So, right? So, this is not an issue. So, don't be shy. This is a, I will, I will post for you from your Quran. In chapter 3, verse number 3, Allah sent down, He's saying, He sent down the book approving what is between, you, between your hands. Approving what is between Muhammad hands. What was between Muhammad hands? The verse itself saying it was a Torah and Injil. So in the time of your prophet Muhammad, the Torah and the Injil was not corrupted supposedly. So your God Allah saying that the Torah and the Injil is correct. And now you are saying the Torah and the Injil, the book of Allah, they are corrupted. This is mean Allah, he did lie to us when he said that he is confirming the book. Let us show the, the room, everyone in the room, what the verse is saying. This is a chapter 3, verse number 3. I want people to read with me, please. Does it say there, to co confirm in the book? Does it say confirming? Or disapproving? Nobody is listening. No problem. Anglo, does it say Allah, Allah himself saying he is confirming the Torah and the Bible? Or he is saying he don't confirm it, your mind? Okay, first of all, when I'm talking, I uh, I would prefer if you don't uh, adopt me and you continue and you uh, and you wait that I finish talking. I'm saying to you, uh, when you are saying about the Bible, first of all, God is talking about the Bible that God have given to Jesus, so He will give to His people. But if you notice, how many Bible you have? You have the Bible of Orthodox, the Bible of Catholic, the Bible of Armenian, the. Bible they count for you. The Bible of the Japanese, the Bible of the Chinese, the Bible of the Hindus, the Indian, sorry, the Bible of uh, uh, the Arab, the Bible of... Uh, well, are you stupid or what? We have the Bible printed and spread it all around the world. Don't you have the Quran in French now and the Quran in Yusuf Ali, the Quran of Bigtal, the Quran, the Quran of Boya, the Quran of Zucchini, the Quran of Cucumber, Quran, you know, you have tons of Quran. But this is not the topic. The verse there, sir, listen. I know you Muslims are very, very slow. Uh, God is watching. Please make your text smaller. Guys, everybody in the room, make your text smaller for God's sake. We have a very good eyes. Don't make your text big. I can read the text in the room from more than 20 foot away. Listen to me, Andrew Saxon. Uh, by the way, uh, very funny, in, in Arab is an Andrew Saxon. God knows what happened. Muslims these days, maybe, maybe Muta marriage. Now listen. We look right, I'm talking about people who they are using capital letter. Capital letter. Andrew Saxon. This is the verse, Allah saying he is confirming. Confirming. Confirming what? The book of Moses and the book of Isa's, which was between the hands of Muhammad. This is mean Muhammad is a liar when he said the Bible is corrupted. Because as you see, the Quran is confirming what is between his hands, which means he have the true Bible, your mind.
What do you want? What do you want, Sophia? You want to get married? We will find you a Muslim male. Any Muslim male in here, he have one vacancy. Like if you have three wives and you wanna, you are looking for number four. Sophia is ready. Anyone? I don't know. You can add her Anglo-Saxon. I don't know what she want. Take the mic, Anglo-Saxon, please. This is the verse. It is between his hands, and what is between his hands is confirmed. Which means, if the Bible is corrupted, the one who did hide the real book, it's Muhammad. As you see, it's between his hands. Yeah, does it say between his hands? What Muhammad did to the real Bible? Why he did not publish them? Why he hide them? It's very clear that the one who hide the real Bible, it is your prophet. And this is mean your prophet is a satanic man. You don't mind. Okay, first of all, I was talking to you and I was saying to you to not redot me. So you will, uh, you will listen to me like I'm listening to you. Okay, second of all, I'm not denying Jesus. Jesus is a prophet like Muhammad and we have him in our, in our Quran. Second of all, me, when I'm saying to you about the Bible, I'm not saying to you French, English, Arabic. This is not a problem, the translation of the Bible. It is to, uh, to, to, to send the, the, the message to everyone. But I'm saying to you, you have many Bibles. You have the Catholics, the Orthodox, the Protestants. You have... This is not the question. And simply... We have the Catholic and the Protestant and, you know, a Muslim, he will say to you, the numbers of the books in the Bible of the Catholic is not the same as the number of the book of the Bible in the Protestant church. Still, they are the same. The only difference, this church did not put all under one cover. The other one put them under one cover because the other books approved by both the churches. There is no difference. The Bible, sir, in case you don't know, it's books book of books not one book anyway so we can make them books like i can put a shelf and i can put i say okay this is the book of uh, mark this is the bible according to uh, 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 john this is uh, uh, isaac this is job uh, determining you know whatever so I, I i can make those books i can divide them but still they are the book, nothing changed. And then all together I put them under one cover. No different. If you are ignorant, this is your problem. The book of the Shia is not the same as the book of the Sunnah. As an example, the books of the Shia, they have something, it's called Surat al-Wilaya. It's not exist in the book of the Sunnah. Surat al-Nawrain, it's not exist in the book of the Sunnah. And not only that, I can show you that even the book of the Sunnah is not what Allah sent to you. How? If we ask Mr. Anglo-Saxon, what is the first chapter Allah gave to Muhammad? Listen to this, guys. What is the first chapter Allah gave to Muhammad? Is it true that the first chapter was read? Read, it's not even... In the front of the Quran, it is in the end of the Quran. So the Muslims, they themselves, they agree that Uthman ibn Affan, he did play with the book of Muhammad. This is why the book, the Quran, the, the Sunnah they have today, it's called the book of Uthman. Not the book of Muhammad, Mus'haf wa Uthman. Because Muhammad did not put the first chapter as Al-Fatiha, it was Uthman. So he played in the Quran, he changed the Quran, and this is not the Quran Allah gave to Muhammad according to Muslims. Did he leave? He left? Anglo Saxon. Uh, supposedly I'm talking to him. And well, I don't look at the screen. You know, when I talk, I move around. Trying to avoid the, this text. Uh, Skee ball. 